Hi, everybody. My name is Paul Loberti, and I'm the director of the HIV Provision of Care and Special Populations Unit at the Executive Office of Health and Human Services here in Rhode Island. We're very pleased today to have a very special guest and colleague, Dr. Azat Saad, with us. Uh, Dr. Saad is the medical director of TAVI 360 MedLink. And as you know, for those of you who have been participating in implementing the TAVI RED program, um, it's very exciting to have this unique and one of a kind platform for people living with HIV in our state. So what we're going to do today is a very special educational program, a training program, if you will, for those individuals who have an investment in TAVI at the agency level. So at this point, it's case managers, some clinicians at the agency level, uh, supervisors have been using it as well in a varied sense. But the most important part of it is really acclimating you not only to the product itself or the TAVI Red platform, but also to this really special console that Dr. Saad will be talking about. And we'll be introducing him in a moment, but I wanted to give you a little bit of an overview. So let's proceed. So as you know, TAVI has been around with us for um, about five years now. It, it really came to us as a result some, of some research that we did and people in the digital field uh, were very clear to me that we needed to check this out. It wasn't like any other mobile health application that I had ever seen before. As a result, we were able to form a sole source agreement with TAVI Red, which is a very unique procurement agreement for the state, allowing us to work with them. And we had this very special grant from HRSA, a supplemental grant that allowed us to really outline some very, very important programmatic pieces of this program. So it happened that we really inherited some exceptional tools that TAVI had been implementing for many, many years throughout Europe and in Canada. And one of those tools was called the virtual nurse. And that was basically, and is, a series of modules that have a nurse speaking to patients and clients about some of the things that they've isolated as needs in terms of their healthcare. As we went forward, we added a piece called gamification. And we began to allow patients to have fun with this and really seek certain quests to build rituals and then respond positively to increasing their healthcare outcomes. So Dr. Zott's gonna talk specifically about some of those things, but if we can go on, I can really discuss some of the aspects of why it's really important that we have TAVI read here in Rhode Island. So it was born because of reinvention of the Medicaid program and more importantly, reinvention of the Ryan White program. Rhode Island didn't want to just sit on a program without really reviewing some of the aspects of what was going really right and what wasn't going so right. So we really took it upon ourselves to apply the triple aim, not just to the Tabby Red product, but also to the Ryan White program and to the Medicaid program in Rhode Island. So what we wanted to do with Tabby Red is we wanted to increase health outcomes. And you'll see in a moment that we've done that. We also wanted to increase patient experience and engagement. And you'll see that TAVI went beyond our wildest expectations and created a highly, highly usable product where the patients are highly engaged. And next, we wanted to look at efficient spending. Now, while we can't isolate cost savings from this, we can tell you that the patients and the case managers and others have said that the time and the effort can be minimized if we use the app and we, talk, we use this as an opportunity to talk to the patients. So it's really about patient-centered care and reducing the amount of time that not only we might spend with patients counseling them through very difficult things, but also how they are reacting themselves to this. So, so in a sense, we do believe that it's been a very cost-effective strategy. So after we talked about the triple aim, our objective was to focus on a segment of the Ryan White population in ADAP that was the most vulnerable of all. This program really rose to fame when we started to talk to people around the country about how we selected people that were out of care, who weren't connected to the internet, who really found themselves, about 30 some odd percent of them found themselves to be homeless, who weren't attending case management meetings or going to the doctor regularly. And many of them were not successfully 
taking their medications, meaning they were not virally suppressed. And that's a concern of any HIV care and treatment program. If your patients or clients are not virally suppressed, the likelihood of them, tr them transmitting the disease is real. So we want to use treatment as a prevention uh, schema. And successfully, TAVI increased medication adherence, and you'll hear more about this in a moment, increased viral suppression rates among the most vulnerable people, and also uh, began to enlighten us as to what other things we needed to look at. So for example, when you ask me the question, who are the people in the program that aren't virally suppressed? We can answer that now with a great deal of specificity in terms of who they are, and maybe some of the behaviors and or circumstances in their life that cause them to be unsuppressed. So we're looking at a lot of aspects, but you know, the reason why that this came to be is because when we were talking to physicians and nurses and case managers in our observational studies, they said, we have little time to spend with patients. We've heard this before, and it isn't a criticism of nurses or physicians or case managers. It's just a reality. We can't capture every patient's story or their set of beliefs about health. It's difficult to do that, but it's important. So sometimes people do it on a care plan. Sometimes it shows up in an EMR. But the reality is, is how do we really interface with the client about what's happening in their life? So for example, if they believe that it's really important to them to have a hot dog every day because it's been part of their family culture to do so, um, we have to kind of look at that if they have high cholesterol or that they have to minimize fat in their diet. Um, and we have to look at that a little differently without actually insulting them about the hot dog eating, but maybe uh, change their way of thinking and their behavior. Perhaps a low sodium hot dog, perhaps a low fat hot dog, perhaps a vegan hot dog. Uh, there's many alternatives, but the reality is, is we have to know what's going on in order for us to help them. Uh, and on and on and on, particularly around proper health assessments, uh, that they're available, but they're not all connected to the software that we're using in the office, as an example. And that they understand social determinants of health, but they want to know where should we start with this. So if an individual is saying that they just don't understand what the doctor is saying. How can the doctor overcome some of those linguistic and even sometimes cultural issues um, that relate to the, uh, what's happening with somebody, particularly around social determinants of health? So at this time, I'd like to turn it over to Dr. Azat Saad. Dr. Saad. Thank you all. Thank you, Paul. And uh, I would like to thank all the TV Red team in Rhode Island. Um, for this session, I, I shall dedicate it for the, uh, the details of the uh, TV Red platform, the uh, evolution and modifications over the years and how we expanded and grew together with the population of Rhode Island for this is our fifth year now. When I say TV Red for Rhode Island, because uh, the the VHIV, which was the original version, was a generic version used in, in different areas and different countries around the world. The VRED was the creation innovation of the Rhode Island the VRED team. And this is how it uh, evolved, iterated in a very user-specific, user-centered approach. We relied on the feedbacks of our clients, our cab members, as well as our case managers to meet the needs, the requirements, as well as the unmet needs of our population. Today, we have more than 330 people living with HIV in the state of Rhode Island enrolled. They're all under the Ryan White Part B program, and it is uh, a grant sponsored by, Her by HERSA for Taviret. In our first launch back in 2017-18, as I mentioned, our first version was called Tavi HIV, and it was mainly uh, targeting medical uh, literacy, improving health and well-being, and it was very focused on the uh, educational coaching as well as uh, have, uh, the clinical condition and the health status. With the evolution and uh, after the success of the first version, we had the feedbacks from all our stakeholders, as, as I mentioned, our case managers, cab members, as well as our clients, and their feedback was more like they, they need something more, more delightful, more engaging. And this, this is where Tavi Red came. And this is where I stress it's a Rhode Island innovation. This is, th these requirements came with a suggestion to have a gamified version. And we released the first version of Tavi Red in 2019. And it was based upon serious gaming to achieve clinical outcomes as well as meet the behavioral and uh, psychological needs of our clients. 
with the growth of this platform up to 2020, the feedbacks came that there were different needs targeting only, not only the, the health needs, but other uh, requirements of our population. One of the top needs was healthy lifestyle. The second was physical activity and exercise. And the third for sure was mental health. As we were developing and launching these uh, requirements of our population, the COVID-19 pandemic came into play. And this is where we had to, to meet the needs and we presented the COVID-19 modules all in the gamified version and we shall see it in details in the next few minutes. The second thing is that Tavi is not an isolated app with our clients. It is a platform. It serves both the, the clients and the care providers. The care providers are, are primarily our case managers for the clients. And this is this part of the platform is called Tavi Pro for the provider. The clients app comes in both English and Spanish languages for our population. And it's, it's, it follows an algorithm of personalized coaching, uh, treatment reminders, medication reminders with other tools and features that we shall see in details. So we had very clear goals when we were, uh, when we were evolving from TAVI HIV to TAVI Red. And I'd like to stress on the point that the word HIV was a, a very stigmatizing uh, uh, phrase and it came from our our population that they don't like it. So we had to change to another title, even the app title changed to the V Red based upon the feedbacks. Our goals were very clear. First, to create a more user-friendly app, which came with the requirements of being personalized, having a personalized feed, having certain trackers and functionalities that meet the needs of the population. And the second was to have, as I mentioned, more delight. And this is where we came with the innovation of serious gaming, aiming at targeting both the, the, the physical as well as the mental health. And, and the, these psychological needs were a mandate for our population. We created an algorithm of quests with rewards and incentivization for positive reinforcement. And it's been launched, as I mentioned, this is the third year for the Taviread uh, innovation. Last but not least, was how to create, to add to the platform, uh, the, the, the Tavi Pro, what adds value to our care providers who are our valued case managers. So it allows them to remote monitor the clients, to communicate remotely, set appointments remotely with bi-directional communication and reminders. It, and with the COVID uh, needs, it has uh, functionalities to uh, send notifications, uh, um, emergency preparedness, as well as emergency contact numbers and so on. And lastly, although this was a requirement before the COVID era, the mental health coaching, and we started to develop it and the need now has is now increasingly worldwide because of the uh, social isolation, as well as the stress coming with the current COVID situation. So going back to how we, we evolved over the years, the third generation of 2019, as I mentioned, is to had these uh, expansions, physical activity and healthy lifestyle, sleep for uh, and uh, stress uh, management modules, as well as the ability to go back, review our quests and our uh, progress within the app. This is what was launched in the, throughout 2020, our mental health modules, which are guided uh, with mental and behavioral coaching. It is uh, uh, <coughs> supported by a, a, a platform called Silver Cloud. It is a credible and a certified platform. We have the COVID-19 modules, as I mentioned, and it, it's linked to the CDC as well as the Rhode Island Department of Health. We have the uh, upgrades in Tavi Pro for communication between the case managers as well as the, the, uh, the care providers to communicate with the clients using the app. So now I will, I will go through a detailed uh, illustration of what we have in Tavi Red uh, Clients app. So the first thing our client sees when they start using the app is their feed page. The feed page is, is, uh, is created in a personalized approach where every single client can uh, mo modify and, and set their priorities and their needs so that it's very pers personalized during their uh, experience along the app and they can set their, their primary uh, goals, their primary uh, interests and expectations. 
We have the symptom assistant tool, and this is mainly for our clients to target two things, either the uh, health symptoms or the psychological symptoms. And it's, uh, it, it gives uh, advice and instructions, what is expected, what's not expected, if it's, if it's a, a health condition related versus an expected side effect of a medication. And it, it keeps uh, like a, a repository, like an agenda of all the reported symptoms, which is used to help our clients communicate with their uh, care providers or healthcare professionals and to keep record of their symptoms between the medical visits. And this is what our clients have, have been using in, in a very positive manner because it saves time uh, and very efficient, uh, makes the medical visit uh, more efficient, as well as some of the symptoms have some uh, stigma or barriers related to them. So we found that many of our clients prefer to report their symptoms in the app which helps them in verbally communicating when they go to the medical visit. So this is how the gamification uh, works. I always mention it is a serious gaming platform. It's based upon quests, a series of uh, tasks to achieve a certain goal. So it drives, first it empowers our, our clients to take an action, respond to a requirement, fulfill the task and achieve a goal with, uh, with a virtual in incentives and uh, points. Th this gamification allows them to, to achieve the required goal. Our goals, some of them, as we can see here, are uh, health related, setting medical appointments with, uh, with uh, whether with their case managers or with their uh, uh, nurse or doctor, um, achieving goals related to a healthier lifestyle, smoking cessation, uh, physical activity, exercise, and most recently what we introduced, and as I mentioned, is the mental health quests. This is an example of how the quest format works. So it is a five task uh, uh, quest as, uh, as we take a certain action, fulfill a goal, and it ends with, uh, and when the goal is achieved, there is uh, an incentive virtual as well as uh, shows a competitive advantage because they can see how anonymously the other peers are doing and how they are progressing. So it, it has a methodology for incentivization through gamification. We have our Rhode Island client specific service map. It is like the Google map, but specific for our clients needs uh, with filters. This was all, all, of the, uh, all of these uh, mo modules were created based upon understanding the needs from our case managers as well as our clients. So it has the food banks, the, the shelters, the agencies, so hospitals and so on. So it's not like uh, 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 the Google map. It is a map which targets our clients' needs and it allows them even to add other uh, function, uh, other uh, locations that are of interest to them. So it is a very personalized map, as I mentioned. Another tool we have uh, for our Tavi Red users is the calendar. It's, uh, it allows our clients to set an appointment in the calendar, uh, identify the type of appointment, the location, as well as free text as a reminder, like uh, I need to take with me my lab results before going to this appointment, uh, I need to, uh, to do something in advance, make a phone call with my case manager to, to come pick me up. So that it, And this calendar is not isolated. It is linked to our Tavi Pro case managers platform where our case managers can, uh, can uh, set an appointment for the client and it appears on the calendar with alarms and a response like, uh, yes, I received it, uh, no, uh, for a reason. So it is an interactive calendar co co connected to the care provider who is our case manager. So as we mentioned, the 2020 evolutions are targeting mental health. It, came, it comes with the same algorithm of gamification and quest format following the same uh, steps. And it, is, it, it goes coached, um, it raises red flags, it allows for emergency intervention. If we see that uh, any of our clients are in a crisis or facing a suicidal problem, and it, it coaches our clients with moderate uh, and less severe uh, mental issues to coach them through uh, the resolution or the need to take action and contact a care provider. 
So this is the COVID-19 uh, modules. Uh, as I mentioned, it is linked to two platforms. One is the CDC and the second is for our local population linked to the uh, Department of Health, uh, Rhode Island Department of Health. So lastly, um, and fortunately, we were able to integrate the virtual community center, which uh, um, <coughs> platform for the age-friendly Rhode Island. This platform is an interactive platform where our clients can access events uh, and, and uh, different uh, videos, uh, uh, webinars, sessions, and it is supported by age-friendly Rhode Island. And now we, our clients can access directly through their My Feed page in the app. Uh, and it is expanding, it's, it's, it has been developed and expanding. So now I would like to, to share with you uh, uh, some of our outcomes over the years. As we mentioned, this is uh, our fifth year um, and to show you uh, our observations and how the evolution of our clients has been happening over the years. When we first started in 2017, we've, we recognized that many of our clients did not even have connectivity, did not have a, a smartphone or even a flip phone to communicate their care providers. And we had a population which was very uh, isolated and stigmatized and struggling with their viral load suppression because they were non-adherent neither to their uh, medication nor to their um, medical uh, condition and clinical needs. So after the launch of uh, Tavi Red, we collected uh, anonymous uh, satisfaction surveys from our clients uh, to know and, and to have their inputs for the evolutions. And we had that around uh, almost 90% were highly satisfied and would recommend to be read to their peers. 80% confirmed that it helped them manage their medications as well as uh, remind them and adhere to their medications. And 82% agreed that it helped them manage their condition as a whole, which whether it's the medical condition or the psychological uh, and mental condition. So here I'm, I'm showing the evolution uh, between the two platforms. When we shifted from the educational platform, which is TAVI HIV, to the gamified engaging platform, which is TAVI Red. When we shifted from TAVI HIV <coughs> at that point of time, the medication adherence and accordingly the viral load suppression among our population was at 87%. And with the shift, we had an uh, almost an immediate rise three months later uh, to 88.3%. And nowadays by the end of 2020, we are at 99.2%. So this, ach this achievement with other uh, uh, interventions that are, uh, are being done for our clients, we have almost, we are now going straight forward to the 100% luckily. We also, uh, by, by the help of uh, the Tavira team uh, within the Executive Office of Health and Human Services, we had uh, a sub-analysis to the most resistant uh, group of uh, clients who, who in, were enrolled back in 2017 using the, the non-gamified HIV platform. And we had a cohort of 47 clients who were non-virally suppressed and their, their medication adherence and viral suppression load suppression at that time was 63 point, was only 36%, meaning that only one third of this population were uh, uh, virally suppressed. And with the shift to the gamified version, to the V-RED, this number more than doubled and 36% ended up into almost 75%. This slide I, I would like to show because it is, uh, the feedbacks we received from our clients over the years. We used to run anonymous surveys distributed by the, uh, our case managers to our clients. They did not have a name or any identification. They were given to the clients in the agencies, to the Taviret clients to, to receive their feedbacks. And uh, this is how we collect the data I was just showing. And I'm showing here the uh, written testimonials of our clients and their satisfaction. And I'll be uh, sharing my screen now to show uh, a, a video of four of our clients and they, uh, they gave us the permission and the consent to share it with, uh, with others to, in order to help their peers benefit from the experience of the VRED. The aha moment was actually learning and seeing my 
journey flow through the app, starting from zero and being closed-minded, and then it blossoming into a flower, knowing that there's all these outlets I can actually use from it, and seeing how I can monitor my medication, I can monitor my uh, T cells and uh, viral load count within the module. Um, I can pretty much fall back on the app knowing that there's somebody that I can reach out to and know that it's it's going to be okay. It's, it's, it's here to help you, not to hurt you. So why not take advantage of the situation? And that's going to help you. And it's going to help other people down the line too, knowing that this is a brand new um, platform for the world to actually get equipped to getting the whole status with HIV and uh, under control, if that makes sense. I haven't kept it a secret about um, having an adherence um, program and suggest that they do consider going on to an adherence program. An adherence program is to help them so that it can make it easier for them with whatever their issues are. No matter if they have HIV, diabetes, whatever the issue is, that they can sit there and succeed at whatever they're doing and not be depressed or not feel that it's a problem that you can succeed at whatever your issue may be. So it doesn't matter what it is. Tavi worked out for me. So it can work out for anybody. Yeah, there is a sense of shame. There's a sense of um, abandonment, scared. When you're newly diagnosed, um, you want to run, you want to hide. And for me, had someone had said, hey, listen, this is Tavi. This is private. Log on. Someone will talk to you. That would have probably saved me months and months of therapy. Because my therapy would have been in it right there. That private code that gets you in and the tutorials. And by the way, having the different nationalities was also very kind. But having all of that there explains what you need to do. It tells you you're not alone. Don't be afraid. This is what you need. It's not the end of your life. It's not a death sentence. And um, hearing your HIV, that's exactly where your mind goes. Having this could really save somebody. So the mental health and these people that are not open to it, they should really try it. And if you're not diagnosed, then you will not understand this. Now at the end of this session, I would like to thank each and every one of you uh, for having the time to attend. And we are all looking forward to seeing our next session. Thank you and have a great day.